Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm Prajwal from Indie Crypto, and inside today's video, we're discussing about Light Node versus Full Node wallets. Now, this is my next video in the wallet series. If you have not checked out my previous videos about wallets, I highly recommend you check them out. I'll leave the link for the videos in the description below. So let's get straight on with the Light Node versus Full Node wallets. Now before we get into light node and full node wallets, we'd have to understand what is a node. A node is basically a software that has the record of all the transactions and the protocols of the particular network. Say for example, if you're speaking about a Bitcoin node, a Bitcoin node will have the record of all the Bitcoin transactions that's ever happened on the Bitcoin network. And it also have the protocols of the Bitcoin network in downloaded onto it. So that's basically what a node is. Now coming to the light wallets and full wallets, they're basically referred to by different names. For example, light wallets is also called as a light node, lightweight wallets or SPV, which stands for simplified payment verification. Whereas full wallets are also known as full node. Now what happens in light wallet is a light wallet will connect to a full node which has all the blockchain transactions and protocols in it and it only transfers the necessary data that is required for the light wallet for example if I have a light wallet on my mobile phone and if I've done per certain transactions on it my light wallet is going to go ahead and connect with a full node and will only download the data of the transactions that I've done on my phone okay so that's basically what uh, a light wallet is and whereas in full wallets a full node wallet it's going to go ahead and uh, create a peer-to-peer -peer node and syncs the entire blockchain with it so whenever i download a full wallet it's basically a full node that's uh, that's going to be run from my computer and what that does is it's going to connect with the other nodes in the blockchain network and it syncs the entire blockchain, downloads all the transactions that's ever happened in the blockchain and syncs it and uh, it, it basically downloads everything. So in light wallets, it only downloads the block headers. It doesn't go ahead and download the entire blockchain like the full wallets. And because of this, the light wallets takes up very, very less space and bandwidth and it's very easy to set up now usually all the mobile app wallets that we use and few of the desktop wallets as well are lightweight wallets that's the reason it's very uh, uh, minimal in size and it's, it's very easy to set up and it doesn't uh, take a lot of time for uh, these wallets to be set up whereas in full wallets it basically takes up a huge space a bandwidth and initial sync time this is because once you install a full wallet on a computer it has to basically download the entire transaction history that's ever happened on the blockchain onto your computer so that is the reason it's going to take a lot of space usually for example uh, if you speak about Bitcoin blockchain uh, network the size would be somewhere more than 150 gigabytes. So once we set up a wallet, it has to download that amount of data uh, or for the transactions onto your computer. That is the reason uh, it takes up a huge space and setting up will uh, take a lot of time. Now, if, uh, because of this, uh, because of the light wallets only downloading uh, the block headers, it requires very minimal space and this is the reason it's uh, very fast compared to the full wallets where they're comparatively slow in light wallets you would have to depend on the full validating nodes to get the necessary information of the transactions and uh, in few of the wallets there is centralized validation built into them so in these scenarios you would have to depend on uh, and the wallet developers but this doesn't happen in all the wallets. There are very few wallets which uh, do this. Whereas in full wallets, you don't have to rely on any third party at all because the, the transaction validations and uh, the transaction history, everything 
is in the full wallets so it doesn't have to look outside to validate the transactions or exchange any data because of this because it's comparatively less secure and also because the light wallets have to rely on the full nodes to get the transaction history the light wallets is a little less secure in compared to the uh, full of wallets as full wallets are more secure because they don't rely on third party as i already mentioned they have all the protocols and all the all the transaction history uh, in them so it's easy for them to validate and uh, again uh, doesn't have to rely on a third party but an, another important thing about full wallets is and light wallets uh, both is that you would have to go and still secure your wallets by backing up and encrypting uh, your uh, computer and make sure uh, they're not affected with any kind of malware or viruses so that uh, becomes your responsibility if those kind of things happen if you go ahead and install a full wallet on a computer that's affected with virus or malware i would not say that would be secure at all so in general scenarios from the network point of view full wallets are more uh, secure compared to the light wallets but from a uh, hardware or a software point of view, you would have to take all the necessary steps to secure uh, your wallets. Now, if, uh, as I only mentioned, because the light wallets have to depend on third parties, the privacy is very basic. Whereas full wallets, the privacy is improved because it doesn't depend on any third party at all. And uh, in light wallets, you have dynamic fee suggestions so the light wallet itself will go ahead and suggest you certain fees depending on the congestion in the network whereas in full wallets you have full control over the fees not only those full wallets go ahead and suggest you the fees uh, depending on the congestion in the network you can also go ahead and put in uh, your own fees whatever you want to pay depending on your need say if you want to go ahead and get the transaction confirmation faster you can go ahead and enter a higher fees then you can get the transaction confirmation faster say if you don't have that urgency for the transaction to get confirmed you can go ahead and enter a lower fees and the transactions will eventually happen depending on the network now if, uh, the biggest advantage of light wallets is that it's mobile and portable device friendly so most of the wallets that we see on our uh, desktop and on our uh, phones are uh, light wallets because they don't need a huge size and because they're not complicated to set up they're very much portable device friendly and we can go ahead and use them on a daily basis like to make payments or to receive and exchange funds whereas uh, in full wallets you have several features like uh, basically when you download uh, a full wallet it's basically a node that's been downloaded so more than nodes, it helps with uh, the decentralization. And also there are other features like smart contracts that you can write if you have uh, full nodes running on your computer. And also if you're interested in mining, full nodes can help you with mining as well. Now here are a few examples for light wallets and full wallets. Uh, you have uh, Electrum wallet for uh, desktop, Coinomy wallet for Android and Mycelium. For the phones when it comes to light wallets and for full wallets you have an example of Bitcoin core which you can download on a, on a computer so that's basically the difference between light wallets and full wallets hope this video was helpful in making you understand the difference between them and uh, if you have any questions in regards to the light and full node wallets please go ahead and leave them in the description below I would definitely love to read them and uh, I'll try my best to answer them as well. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're somebody new here and hit the bell button so that uh, you get notified whenever we post uh, any new videos. Now, in my future videos, I might go ahead and review for all of this or one of uh, these wallets as well. So stay tuned uh, for those videos as well. So that's it in this video and uh, I'll see you very soon in the next one.